guys, welcome back to Simply Be Makeup. Today's inspired look is a zebra. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in so you can kind of see that. So we've got the zebra stripes going into the upper crease area onto the brow bone. And I thought this would be kind of a fun, um, different kind of zebra look because instead of going, you know, just straight black and white, I have a smoked, a smoky eye underneath that with a kind of a charcoaly gray. Um, mixed with black and and then obviously into the white highlight so uh, if you want to find out how to do this then stay tuned and watch the tutorial <laughs> all right so we're going to start out by moisturizing the face i i started out by moisturizing my face because my face is a little dry from doing bulk tutorials so i also have a light staining around my eyes from um, another look that i did recently so i'm going to cover that up first and foremost with a primer um you always apply a primer before applying your eyeshadows because it works as a sticky base and it can also prevent discoloration like this from happening. I always blend it into the eyebrow just so it sets it in place too. And if I put any eyeshadow in, it doesn't stain the skin underneath. So I'm going to start out by applying um, a white pencil on the lids. Ooh, I have cloudy eyes <laughs> and blend it out with my finger. I'm blending it out really um, softly and I didn't apply too much because I don't want this to um, crease up later on. And I'm going to blot it over that pink so it disguises it a little bit. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and a matte white eyeshadow and brush it over the top. So I've decided I'm going to take the um, the zebra stripes and place them just above the crease and onto the eyebrow bone. <laughs> it's hard to say, and keeping this part pretty uh, pretty neutral. And I think I'm going to make it dark. So I'm going to start out by taking a matte black eyeshadow and the flat shading brush here, and I'm going to pat it onto the lid just ever so slightly. I'm going to take it up just to the crease, and I'm just doing a slight patting motion. So I don't streak it. I want it to be pretty uh, opaque. So just like that, as you can see, it doesn't go anywhere past the crease. Now I'm going to take a dome-shaped fluffy brush like this, and I'm just going to softly blend out the edges of this. And I'm going to use a brown to do that. I'm going to use a soft brown color to do that with. And I'm going to tap the brush into it, and I'm just softly blending that outward. And I'm going to keep this shape pretty round on this outer corner. And I'm going to blend it downward into underneath that lash line here. Now I'm going to go back in with this white color and just kind of feather above that smoky part because I didn't get a lot of white in there before. Use a soft blending brush just to blend that out a tad. blend the brown into it so it doesn't look so harsh and do the other side I'm gonna line my upper lash line with an eyeliner pen And then just leave it on the corner there. And I'm going to go back in and just softly blend this just a tad bit more. Just because I'm seeing that it's kind of spotty and I don't like it as much. So I'm going to go back in with my uh, large fluffy brush. And just going to softly blend that together. And I'm going to go back in with a softer black color. It looks like this. It's almost a charcoal black color. And I'm going to go back in with this liquid pen and I'm going to just start creating zebra stripes. I'm going to start from the inner corner. And 
I'm going to make this line just a tad bit thicker and then narrow it out and then just kind of line whatever And I'm going to create a Y on a lot of theme, theme, them so that it gives it that true zebra look. I'm going to do the other side. I'm going to take a silver eyeliner pencil and go over some of these little stripes. And then take it into this inner corner here. And blend it down. Pat it. And then take a cold black pat. Um, cool black eyeliner pencil and line your waterline and your upper waterline with that. The bottom lash line with this, just a little. Tap it in because this is a really creamy pencil. If you don't have a creamy pencil and you have one that kind of drags, then I would suggest pulling the skin down a little and straightening out the skin folds and then drawing it on so you don't get the blots. Now the other side. And then take a smudging brush like this and just quickly smudge out that liner just so you get a really nice smoke look on the bottom. Softly blend that area with the silver into the black. Like so. And then go ahead and apply mascara. To the upper bottom lashes. Okay, so if you have some fallout on your cheekbones, you can go back in with a cotton swab and makeup remover and fix that. And then go over the top of that with any concealer if you have any redness and foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and just skip ahead to um, all of that and I'll be right back. I fixed up the edges and um, <laughs> you hear the cat in the background as usual. I'm going to go in. I'm going to skip foundation today because my skin is a little bit, um, a little sensitive. So I'm going to go in with a bronzer and my kabuki brush and I'm going to brush some bronzer over my cheeks just to give it a nice overall um, glow and I'm going to get some on my forehead, on the sides, chin and underneath. Normally I don't do all over bronzer because it can be overpowering but in this case it kind of helps disguise some of the redness in my face and it gives me a nice just general glow. Now I don't recommend this if you have a super shimmery one. All right, for um, lip color, I decided I'm gonna go with a hot pink. And that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry, I just came back from laughing really hard at the cat. He just crawled into a bag. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed my zebra inspired makeup tutorial. Be sure to post pictures onto the Facebook page. Um, I would love to see your inspired looks. Um, if you would like to know the products used in this video, be sure to check out www.simplybaletza.com and I'll have all that, um, all that stuff listed there. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic summery day and I'll talk to you guys later. Stay electric. Bye!